what Kenneth Rooks did over the weekend is on a tier of its own. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. We're live in Studio B with your day-to-day -day Cougar Sports play-by-play. -play. Jeremy Jordan, Jason Shepard. How was your summer? Was it good? My summer was good. Yeah, mine was good, too. Yeah. Uh, none of our summers, yours included, were as good as our next guest's summer. Uh, Kenneth Rooks won the NCAA title, the USA title, and last night took 10th in the steeplechase at the World Track and Field Championships. He now joins us from Budapest, Hungary. Kenneth, how was your summer, man? <laughs> Hey, it, it was an awesome summer. It was a, it was a little bit uh, hectic at times, you know, just with uh, figuring out training and life and everything. It's been awesome, though. It's been fun to be able to come to the World Championships and to be here in Budapest for the last week and a half. And uh, it, it's, been, it's been really fun. All right, so we will certainly get to the race in a second. What is... Uh... Look, I've never been out of the United States outside of maybe like 30 minutes into Mexico. So I, I, that counts. That, it it yeah. does count. Yeah, what is Budapest like? Give, mm -hmm. give us an idea of what it's like to be over there. Well, uh, it's, it's a little bit humid, not like super humid, but it's, it's a little humid. Um, it's been about 90 degrees um, every day um, that's as, as the high-ish generally around there. We've had a few thunderstorms. If, the, I guess if you're looking for the climate, um, but it's a it's a cool um, area. Um, they have some some history here, some some old uh, parts to the city and and whatnot. There's been a lot of history. Um, there's a lot of museums. I've seen I've seen some of the stuff. Uh, I mean, my my main focus coming here to Budapest was to run, but I've been able to get out and see a few things. So it's it's cool. It's my first time in Europe, and uh, yeah, it's been a great experience. It's the, the summer of Cougs in Europe uh, because the men and women's basketball team are in Italy. And Jimmer Fredette's actually in Budapest right now. I, do you need me to connect you two for lunch or something? <laughs> well, actually, there was a guy I ran into who uh, actually um, sat next to Jer sat close to Jimmer on the flight on uh, when he was coming into Budapest here. So nice. he told me that. I can't, I can't remember him, but I met him at the meets. Uh, the guy, not Jimmer. But... Um, yeah, it's 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 cool. Lots of got lots of people around here right now. Really meeting people so. though, Kenneth, who have been next to Jimmer is basically the same as meeting Jimmer. <laughs> like it's 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 you okay. get that connection. Like I would say I is met it? Jimmer if is I it? met somebody that was sitting next to you. You can do better. You could yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so take us through the race. You finished tenth, as Jerem said. H how did you view your tenth place finish? Yeah. So I I, uh, I felt really good in the prelim. Uh, I am really happy with how that went, um, and I can I went into the final with a lot of confidence that I can run with these guys. Um, that I am I'm fit, and I I mean I I usually make good decisions in the race, and so. I, I went into the race thinking that I could I could be uh, in that in that top five and you know if everything lined up maybe I could uh, get um, a third place spot um, but um, yeah it, it just in in the race I I knew kind of what people were doing I knew that uh, when people started to move they were going to be making a hard push with four laps to go and I hang for a little bit but when we hit a K to go I started to kind of lose contact it just it just got tough after that that point um and uh my hurdling wasn't quite feeling 100 percent great and uh it was it was it was good it was a great experience um it, i finished 10th i i think i'm capable of finishing higher but um i did what i could that day and that's how it ended up um, and there's, there are decisions in the race. Probably I could have done differently that maybe I could have placed a little bit better, but, um, that's, that's what ended up happening. I'm really grateful for this opportunity to get the experience out here competing at the world championships, um, going through this, this whole year, I've had an amazing season. I'm so grateful for all that has happened and I'm grateful for the things that I have learned and. We'll continue to learn. I would have liked to end on a little bit, maybe 
place a little bit higher, but 10th in the world is pretty amazing. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's, it is. Uh, it's, a pretty, it, it's, it's pretty amazing. And so I can, I can uh, be really grateful and really excited about that. And uh, yeah, lots of, lots of good things to look forward uh, to in the future. That's a great summary of what has happened because this has been the summer of Kenneth Rooks. Um, how would you so well, did you have a moment that this week or at the track or whatever where you've been able to kind of take it and realize what has gone so well for you this summer? Because seeing you rep the USA, obviously winning the NCAA and the United States Championships, and then being the final at the World Championships, like you're still a BYU student. Like next Tuesday, you're going to be in some random class and some kid uh, from Utah County is going to have no idea who they're sitting next to. Well, may maybe not quite next Tuesday. I think the Tuesday uh, Tuesday after that. You're right. School You're right. Rush him back 4th. to school. Yeah, yeah, he's like, I'm in Europe. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 pretty cool. I mean, I at the end of the day, like, yeah, I've been successful with running, but one thing that especially that you you learn, I guess, being I mean, being here, being with all the the guys on the team and uh, at the, on the USA team, and even uh, with the guys at BYU. Um, we're just we're normal guys. Uh, we're normal people. We do we do normal things. Uh, I mean, we we have been successful, but it, I guess it's important to remember that we're also normal people too. And so, yeah. The cross That's what I'd say about that. The cross country season begins in a little over two weeks. So when you when you look back on, and I keep wanting to say the summer of George, a Seinfeld reference, the summer, the it's, summer of Rooks. It's the summer of Ken with the, Barbie was, and yes, Kenneth Rooks. Yes, yes, exactly. But when you look back on the last couple of months, how has that prepared you for this upcoming BYU season? It's prepared me a lot. It's it's put me. It's uh, my experiences uh, this um, this this year have helped, um, like help me, I guess, in increase my vision of where I can end up and um, what I'm capable of. And it's helped me, um, you know, stretch my goals a little bit. Uh, it's, I mean, it, I, it's been great experience uh, just being competing with some world-class people um, and, and being able to uh, go through the mental preparation to do all that and, uh, I, I feel like I've grown a lot uh, with just getting in better shape, but also I've grown mentally and uh, I, I can take that with me um, as I go forward into into the rest of my life, but even uh, into this next this next season with cross country and with whatever lies ahead. Um, and cross country itself is a little bit of a different beast because it's a, it's a different race. You do eight or 10 K um, out there on the course and, uh, so it's a little bit different, uh, but it's the it's the same principle, same basic principles, and um, I feel a lot stronger. Feel like I've learned a lot um, because of that, and I've been able to, um, you know, be a good example and bless many people's lives through my example and what I've been able to do, and um, and that's humbling, and I'm excited to be able to continue to do that in in many ways. So. Couple of notes. Uh, one, this is acceptable red. We accept it. It's the United States. It's not the red of a, another team. Uh, two, I ran into Connor Mance and the boys before they were going out on a run. They were wondering where you were, so you probably need to follow up with them. Um, and then three, in your wildest, did you imagine you'd be at this point, at any point, let alone at BYU, with an opportunity perhaps to return to Europe and Paris in the Olympics next year? Well, I mean, there's certain points in my life where I, I definitely did not did not think that I'd be here. I mean, in high school, when I first started running, I, I didn't really, I mean, I ran, but I didn't really love it. And I wasn't really sure about running in college. But my junior year, my mindset kind of changed. And um, I worked toward um, getting a scholarship and I got a scholarship and running in college. But even when I first got to college, like, I, I didn't think that I'd be... I didn't think that I'd be here at the world championships and, and, uh, be a national champion, but, um, you know, I, I just, as things have gone on and I've been more successful, I had a really good freshman season, made it to the NCAA championships in the steeplechase. And I mean, at that point I started to think, well, I could be a national champion someday. And, and, um, 
you know, maybe, maybe I might be able to at some point, if, if I keep working, uh, get to the world or the Olympics, but there, yeah, one of my, one of my friends actually in, in high school, his name's Tristan Lamelli. He always, he always was telling me since my freshman year in high school, he's like, you're going to the Olympics. You're going to be in the Olympics. So, and he's, he, he might be right. So he might be it's, right, it's baby. Cool <laughs> and so, uh, it's, uh, it's cool that I'm in this position and I was able to, to be here at the world championships, even at the, at the beginning of the season, I thought that I could make it to the world championships, but I, I didn't know that I'd, I'd win the U S championship. And, um, I thought that I had a shot at me at winning that NCAA championship. And I did, um, and I, I, I wasn't expecting necessarily to make the final or anything. And, uh, it's, it's been exciting. Uh, it's, it's been, um, a great season and it's cool to think of the opportunities I have ahead with maybe making it to the Olympics next year as well. So. Well, Walla Walla, the home of onion rings and Kenneth Rooks. We appreciate the time, safe travels back, and uh, we'll see you in uh, whatever class in uh, a couple of weeks. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks, Kenneth.